Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. <laughs> oh, we've been able to go back and just reminisce on all of our favorite things that we've yes. been able to do together. I mean, we've been blessed, you know, we 20 have. years together. Thanks to all of you, our, our sponsors. Absolutely. I mean, we couldn't have done this. Look at the mess on him. I can't put my hands around his horns. Look at this. I think I shot another booner. <laughs> I can't believe it. Welcome to this week's I was Archer's waiting for Choice. Her. He's going to try to bust me. You know, this this week on Archer's Choice, we have our 20 years on the Outdoor Channel our favorite memoirs. favorite deer hunts. Yes. Our favorite big bucks. Big our bucks. favorite bucks. Big bucks. Big bucks? Yeah, most of them are big bucks. Most of them are. But you know, they're some of our favorite. I mean, we've, we've been very fortunate to do a lot of hunting, but okay. these, these, these are the ones that have a special spot in our heart. You know, some of them are from years ago, and some are pretty recent. Some of them are like 20 years ago. Well, one of them is. <sighs> Anyways, we've got a lot to share with you, so let's get it going, shall we? Yes. Remember, a Bambino fit Fi in my backpack. Yeah, not anymore. No way. No, I could fit in his backpack. His calf wouldn't fit in your backpack anymore. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> All right, let's cut to the chase. Number one, I think we have to show and share and that is your big white-tailed deer in Colorado with Billy. I'll never forget watching all those bucks come out into that green field yep. in the middle of November for no reason with no Together. does. Together. Together with no does, which was so bizarre. And then I remember just there was two good bucks in that field. No idea how good the one buck was, but there was two really good bucks in that field. And I remember rattling and grunting and trying to get him to come with, and you said, Vic, use the snort wheeze. And yep. I mean, that was a new thing back then. Yeah, it was, it just came out. Years. This is like 06, so you're talking a long time ago and did a snort wheeze and he came in it on a just... string. And you know, that's a good tip, Vicki, is sometimes a grunt may not work. You know, dry a snort wheeze, try something. The, the bottom line, sometimes they hear it, sometimes they don't, and just something might trigger them. And that snort wheeze triggered the two big mature deer. Yeah, and then the more dominant one obviously came to, I'll never forget him jumping the fence. And he kept uh, coming, he went behind the tamarack, like, and then a bluebird just... showed up. Ralph, in the meantime, is going through his head. Okay, he's got 25 inches of mass. Um, he's got 25 I'm inch looking, beams. going. He's got, oh, crud. She shoots him. And, you know, I'm like, I believe you just shot a 200 inch deer. And I was like, She's like, nah. And then I totally lost everything that you could ever imagine, because as soon as I shot, <laughs> It was gone. Gotta be honest, the whole tree was shaking. It wasn't it just because of just her. Me. It, it was, was both of us. We both were shaking so bad after that. You could just see it in the footage. We're doing this and I'm crying and then the recovery and I'm crying. And I... You know, back then, 200 inches wasn't as common as what it is today. No. You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and for, a, for bow hunters and for a, a woman bow hunter to, to do it, it was just, it was just awesome. We just waited 45 minutes. I want so bad to go and find that deer. Ralph's been telling me to stay calm, stay calm. My heart's still racing. I have calmed down a little bit. Because I want to see him so bad, and I just keep talking. Just gonna, please let us go find this deer, please. This is where he started to sag out. There's my arrow. on him. I can't put my hands around his horns. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. I can't put my hands around the face. Oh, goodness. You know, I have to say, 
besides getting all choked up. And everyone says try new different gimmicks and, and everything else. And we're here in southeastern Colorado and Billy, Gala, all of you, thank you so much. Thank you, Freddie, Travis, Joe, Jennifer, Ma, RJ. Buddy, you gave me that big good luck kiss before he left. And you know what? I need to call you. I need to call you right now and let you know that I shot the biggest buck that I've ever seen. You know, I knew when you're sitting in that stand and I didn't want to think about it, but you know how you just have that feeling? When you think he's not watching over you, he is. Thank you, big guy. Now, one of the other favorite memories I have of you and I being out there all the time uh, Mr. is Mule. actually, yep, Mr. Colorado Mule Deer, which was actually two years before I shot that big white tail. Yep. Yes. And actually, as the crow flies, about a mile away. He's got a big muley buck. He's bedded right on the other side of that brown stuff. The problem is there's a doe and a smaller buck between us. We're gonna see how to get closer. Well, we, we saw the little, I think a forky and a doe. Well, we lost them. And we, it, it shows you a, a five minute hunt that took over five hours. So we actually circled around so we didn't bump them with the wind or anything. As we're walking out, he shows up right by a bunch of sunflowers. So we're like, and he's, he's looking and he's walking with the wind against him and then he hooks around and I, said, I told Vic, I said, he's going, he's, he's betting. So we, 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 you know, we start making the advancement and, and lo and behold, I'm worried, you know, we're I'm in lead. We couldn't see anything. There was nothing Vicky down in that spots. Ball. Just, just that. Just, just his fork, his time. just moving a little bit, just, and boom, we locked on him. We're about 80 to 100 yards away, so we, now we know where he is. Now we don't know where the doe is at. And, I, and the, the little fork. fork. So I'm glassing everything. We can't find him. Get the wind. We come up, get to about 50 yards. Vicky stays back. I, I, I might have threatened her, but anyways, I was not gonna at 50 yards, I felt you know pretty confident. There's we're just in sage wind. There's no wind, so I figured we'll just I'll slowly start to move forward. Well, as I move forward, I get in position. I come to full draw. I make a noise. I grunt. Nothing. So I come back down. I went a little closer. Went a little closer. I ended up stalking that buck at 20, 21 yards. Did everything I possibly could to get him up. Finally, for between running and wheezing and everything, he stood up. I had already had my hoit at full draw. And right when he stood up, my arrow was already in flight. Pinned him. He goes 40, 50 yards, piles up. And you lost and it. And I lost it. You lost I it. I lost it. I was just so excited. Can you believe it? He wasn't listening to your back, so I, I helped out. No, I tried to whisper to you. Well, I wasn't sure if you were oh. sure. Oh. 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 You know, oh. I don't. Uh. Oh, Billy. Oh. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. Oh. oh, my gosh. In all my life, never fathomed something like this. And I can tell you that right now. You know what? I think I shot another booner. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look at this. Look at. Look at here, look at, oh my, I, I just, and we hunted him, you know what I mean? We, we put a stalk on him, down, look at the, look at this deer. Now you can see a lot of this is west, because we love the west. We do, and you know, we had gone out, to out west. With Billy. With Billy, it was my turn, and I was, it was my first mule deer. We were back out in the sage flats yep. and, and hunting the draws, the ravines, because these muleys were coming off these flats, walking these creek bottoms, literally that going to bed. Yep, going to bed. And lo and behold, Vicki got her first mule deer. Now my favorite memory about this whole hunt, though, honestly, 
is it's not that it was my first mule there. It's not that we shared it together. No offense. No. It was you packed having RJ. RJ on my back while we were covering my mule there. That was awesome. This is a hunt I will never forget. It's my first mule deer hunt ever, and the first hunt RJ ever went on with us. The guide knew this buck was using this drainage, so we set up a tree stand in the only tree we could. The buck started walking down the ditch heading towards our way. He walked past us at 15 yards, and when he was quartering away, I released, and my beeman stuck in the opposite shoulder. Look at this mule there. Not fast, my first mule, huh? Yeah. Wow, really, he's a five by five. I kind of thought maybe he was a white tail. This time I first saw him coming down, but obviously not. He's absolutely yeah. beautiful. Oh, congratulations! Well, thank you very much. You bet. Well, thank you very much, RJ, too, while yeah. we were out. You bet. He's a perfect child. <laughs> first deer hunt. We got mom. We got a great new mule deer. We never had one before. This is awesome. Now, one of my favorite hunts is here at home in Illinois. Okay. My fa one of my favorite white tail hunts. And it's because it was out of the princess stand. They're all princess stands when she claims them. As soon as I see a good deer out of a stand, it becomes a princess stand and no one else is allowed to hunt it. Well, we had actually, we had had this buck show up on camera on our spy yep. points. And it wasn't too long before that sun came up and- There he is. He showed up and he did everything we needed him to. Is really, really incredible. He is, and he is called, he's my princess stand yeah, duck. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, please let him be down. Oh, please let him be down. And the cool thing about it is, again, you, we're, we're talking we don't own a lot of land. No. It's, it's 33 acres, but we've tried to create better habitat, better everything, and and this is what can happen on a small piece of land. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, honey. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Is he beautiful? I have to say that I have more story with this buck than I've had with any bucks. This is beautiful. He, uh, oh. We, we saw him up in the fields up behind our little piece of property here that we have in Illinois and it's just 33 acres that's all we got here and we sat in the food plot we saw this guy going around the, in the cut corn fields and we watched him cross the road the one day and we saw all the bucks hanging out in the bottom down here and then we decided we need to hang we need to move a stand so we hung the stand out right in the bottom we had a southeast wind and that we night and had the plan we had the plan and it all came together. This is like... Yeah, baby! Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. <laughs> he's a magnificent animal, look at that. Oh, thank yep. you, Lord. At thank least now you. I have a, a, you know, I have a mark. A mark? Yeah. I'm gonna mark you. What do you mean you have a mark? Now Z and I know what we gotta oh. be. <laughs> my shot looks, well, in the video, his shoulder's more forward, so it was a hair back. It probably was liver like we thought. Well. Let's get him tagged and uh, yep. let's get him home. We'll go show let's RJ get him and here. RJ yeah. will be pumped. Nani, RJ, all the guys <sighs> at the office. It's we got to thank Dan. Dan, Dan, the cameraman. Oh, and the big guy upstairs. Thank you, Lord. You know, through the years, we spent a lot of time up in North Dakota with the brands. Absolutely. Double B. And it was, you know, they had contacted us. We met, we met David on a hunt. And, you know, he had said, hey, him and his brother, you know, they were thinking about starting outfitting. Would, yep. would we, would we, you know, work with them? We said, absolutely, great people. Well, lo and behold, it became a... A yearly... 12, for, 4, 13, something, 14, yeah, 12 years. Yeah, until they retired out of it. Yeah, they, they ended like up we shutting down. we beginning to the end. Yeah. We had we shot some them. magnificent deer. Uh, I'm, you know what I mean? And, yeah. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Just check this out, because North Dakota and the Brants... They were very good to us. We're in North Dakota at one of our favorite spots, Double B Outfitters. We got set up in our box blind and about an hour later, the does and yearlings started making their way in. We're watching a deer and, you know, just enjoying it. And we look up on the skyline and there's a good buck heading our way. 
boy, reading his body language, you could see he's skittish, but after watching the Doge for a while, I think he, he settled down and came in. There was no doubt in my mind this was one of those big bucks, those North Dakota monsters. So I grabbed my Hoyt and got ready to beamonize him. Yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh, she's Toledo! Listen, you know what? We just gotta make the shot. You guys do all the work, and it's just absolutely amazing. It is absolutely amazing to understand that North Dakota is a sleeper. And you know what? I don't care, <laughs> because I'll come here and sleep any chance I get. Look at that deer. What a beautiful, oh, doesn't he? Look at this. One of the things you've probably noticed through the years, and that is when Vicki and I and, and our team, you know, really create a relationship with the outfitters. We do. We, we go stay back with them yearly. You know every, what I mean? Yeah. On a regular basis. Well, they become family. It's and not, Jeff's it's not one of them. Been, absolutely. Uh, I mean, he that he's just a firecracker, always going. He is so into keeping the kids in the outdoors, hunting and right. fishing and everything. Yep. But you know, we had we had hunted with him in Montana, deep in the bush adventures. We hunted, and just things wouldn't work out. No. And and he was like, "You guys are going to quit on me." We're like, "We're, we're not, not going to quit. quit on you." We saw great animals. We yes. did. It's just that whether it was the wind or whatever, we couldn't get to where they were at. I mean, things happen. That's hunting. That's the whole thing. But we went back again, and I got really close to second year. Oh, yeah. But you went back, and honestly, well, we won't spoil this. You know, the morning started out pretty slow, you know, but you're, you know you're in a good spot. Had a couple does, had a nice young buck come through, and um, all of a sudden I'm looking around, and I all I caught, was just through the olive trees was antlers tying movement and right when i i was like oh shooter buck, buck, oh buck, my buck, gosh buck. You, you know and I, then i was like then i don't look again i learned that a long time ago mm -hmm. i don't look at i can't but tell sometimes you. it gets you in trouble it does i can't tell you what he had on his head after i shot i can tell you this when i say i'm gonna yep that's I'm, I'm drawing my hoist back so i here he comes i had a i had to stop him because he was just I was already at full draw, did a little yeah. bleat, and he stops. R rest is history. This is our 20th year on the Outdoor Channel. And you start thinking, well, you know, we've done it, we've been blessed, we've done it a long time. People are getting, might be getting tired of watching us. And we've been so fortunate to have all of you to be willing to put up with us for 20 years. <laughs> What a way to top it off. Wow, I'm gonna tell you something. Brought back a lot of memories, huh? It did. I mean, there's so many things going on in our heads when we're watching this footage. You know, it, and you, what's funny is you, you remember it. And when you're watching it, you, you things that like, the bluebirds. The bluebirds. Uh, I mean, My just, just bluebirds. little stuff that just, 
Wow, it's it is pretty I mean, crazy. And and it's fun. This has been a lot of fun, this 20 year thing on Outdoor Channel, because we've been able to go back and just reminisce on all of our favorite things that we've yes. been able to do together. I mean, we've been blessed, you know, we 20 have, years together. Thanks to all of you, our, our sponsors. Absolutely. I mean, we couldn't have done this. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.